Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show solution of a simple engineering mechanics problem using ANSYS mechanical EPDL. Actually, it is a shear force and bending moment diagram problem. A simple bar is here which is fixed at the left side and right hand side it is having roller support. The total span of the beam is 3 meter and over this one throughout this span a load of 5 kilo newton per meter is applied. So in this case we have to find out shear force and bending moment diagram using ANSYS mechanical epidural. While solving this one we will use the unit as newton and millimeter. So this load 5 kilo newton per meter will be converted as 5 newton per millimeter okay then let's get started and since mechanical APD is already open we we'll start from preferences it is a static structural analysis so structure will be clicked on next one preprocessor element type add edit delete nothing is defined so you have to add it we're taking the element as beam and two node 188 we're selecting close it next one material properties to be applied material models structural linear elastic isotropic isotropic means material properties will be throughout all direction it will be same it will not change in any directions and modulus of elasticity of this material is 2e5 2 into 10 to the 5 newton per millimeter square and poisons ratio 0.3 okay next one you have to apply the sections it will come from beam common sections let's take the section a equal to 200 by 300 millimeter 200 millimeter breadth and height equal to 300 millimeter okay right next one you have to start modeling now we can see the drawing the beam is having length 3000 millimeter and it's starting from origin and two uh, key points we have to create one key point would be at the origin and another will be at 3000 millimeter away okay we're starting key points in the active coordinate system first key point will be at the origin that means here zero zero location we are not providing by default it will take zero apply the second one will be at 3000 millimeter away okay so two key points have been created this is at 00 and this is at 3000 millimeter away now the two key points should be connected in the form of a line lines straight line select the lines done these two this line should be meshed right now now we have to start meshing mesh size controls manual size lines all lines now take the number of elemental division of this line equal to 60 divisions this number can vary from 30 onwards okay divisions are done now to mesh it mesh lines you can select the lines or you can say peak all also by box we are selecting okay meshing is done next one you have to apply boundary conditions right so it will come from solution analysis type new analysis it is a static structural analysis next one define loads apply structural displacement on key points you have to select the two key points at the first left hand side and the other at the extreme right hand side okay now here it is very important that it should be restricted to moving in x y and z directions and rotation also will be fixed with respect to x and y axis and it will be allowed to rotate only about z axis right so ux y uz displacement is zero and rotation with respect to x and y is 
zero the beam is supposed to have restricted movement with respect to x y z displacement is zero with respect to x y z and rotation is zero with respect to x and y it is allowed to rotate about z axis only okay done next one you have to apply uniformly distributed load of 5 newton per millimeter that should be applied in the form of pressure on beams to select the beam we can select by the form of by box beams are selected the nodes of all the beams are selected now we have to apply that in the udl right load key number is 2 and it will be starting from 5 to 5 it is not varying it is uniformly distributed so it will be 5 newton per millimeter to 5 newton per millimeter so that load is applied now now we have to run this solve current ls if everything is right it will show solution is done solution is done so our solution is perfect we can see the results right now for seeing the results you have to start from post processing it will come from general post processing first of all we have to create the elemental table so starting from element table define table nothing is defined so we have to add it our task is to find out shear force and bending moment diagram right so we'll write down first bmd and here it will be by sequence number smisc it will be 3 apply again bmd by sequence number it will be 16 apply now it will be shear force diagram sfd by sequence number smic it will be 6 apply again sfd by sequence number smisc it will be 19 okay if you want to see stress values that will be also uh, number will be 1 ls1 okay but in our case we have to find only bmd as sfd okay let's update and close it our result is ready we'll, we have to see it right now from plot results plot results first of all we'll see deformed shape and when you see deformed plus undeformed that means the beam will be changed with the application of load by the same time you can see the beam with the deformation and without deformation also okay let's see this is in 2d form and the white line is the original drawing and blue line is the deformed drawing we want to see this one in 3d format then it will be plot controls style size and shape and display of element should be on okay okay this is the drawing if you want to see in a better way you can see in isometric view this is the drawing so white line is the original drawing and blue is the deformed drawing by the application of uniformly distributed load okay this is the drawing if you want to see uh, the animation of this one you can see also like animate deform shape we can see it the beam is deforming beam is animating in this format in this way right we can save it in the form of this uh, animation form also let's stop and close it next our aim is to find out shear force and bending moment diagram let's see the front view this is the front view right okay now I want to see bending moment diagram it will come from control plot and line elemental response for bmd it will be sm3 and sm16 okay this is the bending moment diagram right you can see the result is how much maximum value is 0 0.562 10 to the power 7 newton millimeter if you convert this one into newton meter it will be different right so in our actual practice if you want to validate this result you can see how much was the result in actual cases theoretically we found the value of bending moment equal to you can see here it is how much it is bending moment is 5.625 kilo newton meter that means if we convert this one into newton millimeter it will be 5.625 into 10 to the power 6 newton millimeter and our result is also telling 
वन फाइव सिक्स टेन टू दर सेवन दैट मीन्स फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स टू टेन टू दर सिक्स न्यूटन मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज एक्जैक्टली सेम वॉट वी आर फाइंडिंग इन अवर थियोटिकल रिजल्ट नेक्स्ट वन विल सी द शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम राइट एलिमेंटल रिस्पॉन्स फॉर शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम इट विल सिक्स टू नाइनटीन ओके सी इस वैल्यू इज मिनिमम इज माइनस सेवन न्यूटन एंड मैक्सिमम इज प्लस सेवन न्यूटन लेट्स सी द वैल्यू इन अवर थियोटिकल रिजल्ट इट इज 7500 इज 7.5 किलो न्यूटन दैट मीन्स 7500 न्यूटन थियोटिकल रिजल्ट एंड अवर एनसिस रिजल्ट इज लिटिल विथ वेरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ योर डिस्क्यूटाइजेशन सो वाइल मेशिंग वी हैव मेज दिस वन अप टू सिक्सटी नंबर्स ऑफ डिविजन वर मेड इफ यू मेक द मेश मोर फाइन इन दैट केस वी विल हैव बेटर रिजल्ट इन एनसिस वॉट इज हैपनिंग एक्चुअली वी आर ट्राइंग टू गेट टू आस द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट बेटर द मेश बेटर इज द रिजल्ट राइट तो दिस इज अबाउट अवर टू डेज एस एफ डी एंड बी एम डी एनालिसिस यूजिंग एनसिस मैकेनिकल एपीडियल इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो Please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye